a while ago, I uh, realized that I have a lot of carburetors and other stuff that needs to get cleaned. And it turns out that carb cleaner and all that other shit you can buy, it's just not good enough. It's a lot of labor, not really worth it. So I decided I was going to build myself an uh, ultrasound washer, ultrasonic machine, or whatever you call it. And I didn't find many videos on the internet how to do it. A lot of foolish ones, but not very mu many that actually shows how to do it. So I decided that I'm going to make you a short video on how I do it. And we will see if it works. If it doesn't, well, you learn another way not how to do it. And if it works, well, I've made myself a cheap one. Something I didn't have to pay $250 for. So, let's go. I bought this cheap kit off eBay. I don't remember the specs because it's quite a while since I bought it, but I'll find out and I'll put them in the description below. And I found this stainless steel canister in a junkyard. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a frame for it, epoxy those two transducers into it and make a little box for the electronics and we'll see what happens. Funny thing is I bought this with two transducers but if you look at the circuit board there's only one outlet for the transducers which means I have to split the wires. And this is not really super quality but it doesn't matter because this was dirt cheap. 220 volt because that's what we have in Norway. And the outlet for the transducers is right there. So, a small plastic box would do. And those are the wires that came with it. They're not really that thick. But that's what it came with, so I'll see what happens. Um, I've already taken a few measurements on this square bar, so two transducers are to be epoxied in. Be right back-ish. Alright, now as you probably can tell, you can see there's two roses where I used a scotch bright to scuff up the stainless steel. And you also see that I already marked a few spots to where to put the um, transducers. That's what I'm going to do next. But first of all, I have to clean up this with acetone because acetone does not leave a residue. I'm going to do the same thing for the transducers so that we don't have anything obstructing it in between. The adhesion between the two. Preferably I would have welded it on, but I don't have any argon. So stainless steel, that's not not going to work with me right now. So let's try it with epoxy. If that doesn't work, we'll see about welding it. Okay, so I epoxied it in. And since this is not 100% straight <laughs> on my vise, I had to use some uh, painter's tape just to keep the <laughs> transducers in place because they're sliding all over the place right now. So while I'm waiting for the epoxy to set, that's what I've done. Meanwhile, I'm going to have a little look at the wiring that I need to do for this, because that is something I could do while I'm waiting for the epoxy to set. The frame for it, I think I have an old setup upstairs I can look at. But this is what, this, this is what it looks like right now. So we'll get back to that in a minute. So one minute later. Bullshit. This is half an hour later and I'm done with the wiring for the transducers. I've also made a wire. Hang on a second if I can just grab it here. I've also made a wire for the power cord. That's this one right here. 220 volt. And I'm looking at the PCB and it says 220 volts. So, 
I'm glad this thing has a fuse because I have no idea what happens when I turn it on. But we'll find out soon enough, won't we? So next thing would be to make a box for this thing to make sure it doesn't kill itself. And then pop riveting the wires to the transducers. This super epoxy takes a long time to cure. Are you kidding me? I've been here for half an hour and they're still barely moving around. So this means that this is not a 20 minute build or 24 minute build. It might be a 24 hour build, but we'll find out soon enough. Um, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Uh, I hope that I will have time to put up part two of this, uh, where you'll see how I built the stand and everything else for it, but we'll see when that happens because tomorrow is another day. So talk to you guys later. Bye.